Well, a new CNN poll finds a majority, 51 percent of Democrats and Democrat leaners want someone other than President Biden to be the party's candidate for president come 2024, while 45 percent say they want Biden again. Meanwhile, Republican and Republican-leaning respondents were more split on whether they want Donald Trump to run again for the GOP the next go-around, with 50 percent saying it should be Trump, 49 percent saying it should be a different candidate. Um, this is kind of fun. I mean, so, so both parties are really pretty split on whether they want the Biden-Trump matchup repeat that they are going to get for, like, I think for <laughs> very likely to get. They're absolutely going to get Biden again. So Democratic people saying we would like a different candidate. That's kind of that's thanks. hilarious, but right, you're thanks. not getting a different candidate. Your you're, getting, you're getting <laughs> you're, Biden. Your complaint um, is registered. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. The, on the Republican side, it's a little bit more interesting around. because <laughs> Trump could choose not to run. And then it would be and, and, you know, give him give his party a really good chance at taking back the White House or he could run and give his party a somewhat less good chance of winning back the White House. Although still a chance, to be clear. What do you guys think? Yeah. And Biden finished uh, what? Yeah. You know, go, go ahead. Biden finished third, uh, what, third in Iowa, fourth in Iowa, fifth in right. third, third in Iowa, fifth in fifth, fourth or fifth in New Hampshire, got crushed in Nevada. No, nobody uh, cares what Iowa and thinks. And then the, the establishment's like, you're the guy. Now, right. now, now here, half, half the Democrats are like, we don't want him. It's like, no, no, he's, he's the guy. He's the guy. And even fewer didn't, you hear, didn't you hear Obama Harris. last time? He's the guy. Yeah, exactly. And, and same with Kamala Harris. I mean, even fewer wanted her during the primary. <laughs> and we're stuck She's with her, beat. too. So they can't, even, they can't even replace him with her. I mean, it, it's, this is why when you don't listen to voters, this is the situation that you're put in. You know, you need to be listening to voters from the get-go. But um, I don't know. OK, so now where we are today with everything, with everything that's going on in Biden's presidency, if there were to be an election today between Trump and Biden, who do you think would win? Biden. Do you today, think Biden would still win? I yeah, today. I still think Biden would win. I think it would be about the same yeah. as last time. I think it would be like the same states and the same. Because votes don't record enthusiasm right. or happiness. Right. It's just who you vote for. And so that's, that's what, that's the. Trump would win the states that he won last time by even more. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. Right. Right. He, he would clean up in Florida. He would clean up, but that doesn't matter. It's those couple swing states. And I don't think, uh, I don't think Republicans have done themselves any good in, in Georgia, in Arizona. Have they? I don't think they have. I, I think their base is probably, they're more furious. And they're, I mean, Trump's almost told people, he's come this close to telling people not to vote uh, <laughs> until he gets the system built exactly the way he wants right. it. Now, That's okay. the problem. Right. Now, Glenn okay. Youngkin would clean his clock. Glenn Youngkin, okay. oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. What about if it were Ron DeSantis and Biden today? I I, I think Ron DeSantis might it be. I think he might yeah. be a narrow, very narrow favorite today. Yeah. yeah. He's probably I do. He's probably a favorite in this in this climate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean there's just people have to understand. There are voters out there who want. I mean, my mother's one of them. I not to you know just use personal, total, anecdotal. Uh, data all the time, but there are people out there who want a Republican, want generally want Republican policies, are you know very dissatisfied with Democrats, but they hate Trump and won't vote for him because he's kind of an obnoxious person. <laughs> like those voters, it, 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 there's a lot of them in Michigan, there's a lot of them in Pennsylvania, there's a lot of them in Ohio, there's a lot of them in Arizona, there's a lot of them in Georgia. And okay, but then the other question is: is then who would be who on the Republican side would absolutely defeat Biden, and vice versa? Who on the Democratic side would absolutely beat Trump or or Ron DeSantis? I feel like this is the crux of the question yeah. that both parties are struggling with, right? Well, the Republicans are caught in that vice where the per, the people who are most likely to be able to do that uh, would have the hardest time winning the Republican primary. Mm -hmm. But and then if they did win the primary, they risk winning it in a way that depresses turnout among you know Trump's Trump's hardcore base, which is what Youngkin did so effectively in, in Virginia. Is that he basically was a good tr MAGA whisperer? Like the the MAGA people were fine with him, and they also understood that he had to not fully embrace them. Like there was kind of an, a strategic alliance of convenience between the two of them, and. You need that sort of alliance to keep the right. keep the thing together, proves, but you can't that have that something. if you have a rough, a super rough primary. But right, but that proves ahead. that Trump voters 
can vote for someone else. I mean, a lot of people think, sure. oh, no, they're in a cult. They're loyal to Trump and Trump only. Not true. I think right, Youngkin yeah. and even Ron DeSantis yeah. show that. No, there are there are ways. Get, the question is, can you can you get can you get to the place you need to be without alienating them along the way? Yeah, yeah this is a major problem for the right. I mean, it's a problem even on COVID. Like, you know, you can absolutely create a broad coalition of not just people on the right, but even some, you know, moderates, some in, independents, Democrats who are like, no, we don't want to mask our children anymore. You know, no, we, we, we yes, you should be able to get a vaccine, but, we, you know, we need this broad, randomly declared vaccine on everyone. All the kind of same, I mean, stuff I support, but do, does that very small section of the Republican base that is like, that, that is crazy town on, on COVID stuff, do they force the candidate to say things that are so crazy that then they can't get right. elected in the general? That's the that's the concern. I don't know. Who do you who do you guys think on the Democratic side would be like if some like this is not realistic because it is going to be Biden. But if you could somehow wave a magic wand and have the candidate be I think if the candidate would be Michelle Obama, that would just. be. Yeah, I think I think Michelle yeah. Obama probably. Would, but I don't know, because so many so many on the left are so, um, you know, disillusioned by the Obama presidency that I kind of wonder if they think, well, but, you know, kind of an extension. But I would say she's probably the best. Um, bet that would re that would get people fired up and into the polls on the democratic side do you guys think if bernie like if bernie sanders was somehow back in the mix or you could you know contrive a situation where it's bernie sanders again he would he would do as well as he was kind of expected to do i, I so i think bernie sanders would have beaten trump in 2016. yeah right. 2020 i don't know I, I i tend to think uh i, I well, I, maybe anybody could have beaten Trump because right. the pandemic was so bad. Maybe I kind of think it was uniquely Biden really had some advantages over Trump in that and, all, and also the COVID environment. Like he just wasn't running a campaign that Trump could right. respond to Nothing because Trump wants to, to fight. Yeah. He wants to. And Biden was just too boring to keep interest in it in a way that ends up hurting Trump. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I think the Democrats are so structurally disadvantaged at this moment, and, and they're, they've so kind of ideologically cornered themselves that they, they, they have to rely on celebrities in, in, other, in order to not get wiped out in the future. I don't know which celebrities. Mm. I've joked about The Rock before. People are kind of teasing about him. <laughs> but like people like him who, who can transcend partisan politics and, and, but, and pick up that extra couple points here or there uh, are, you know, Matthew McConaughey trying to run in Texas was, mm -hmm. was never quite serious, but that kind of person who has this 100% name ID and a, and, a, and a decent amount yeah. of respect going in, a reverse Trump of, in some ways. But that's a small, it's not, it's not a huge number of people. Or it could be somebody totally different that nobody knows anybody, you know, like Glenn Youngkin, who nobody, I, you know, I'd never heard of the guy before and then suddenly comes up and he's, uh, you know, so maybe that somebody like that where they just come out, seem to come out of nowhere mm -hmm. for people that aren't in that area like you know, Eric Adams. of the country. Somebody, right. So maybe it could be just somebody completely different who represents more of the ideals of what the left would like the Democratic Party to. And you, and to you never embrace, know what we'll be talking. You know, a year ago, right, everyone was talking, maybe it was a year, more than a year ago now, but Andrew Cuomo was going to be, are, are Democrats going to force <laughs> Joe Biden to step aside that, so that Andrew Cuomo can become oh, president? Oh, it was going to be uh, Michael Avenatti at one point. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, who's now, yeah. Now in my. prison, I believe. <laughs> right, so you never oh. know. Oh, boy. All right. Well, well, nothing ever changes. If Jesse Jackson would have w been on track to win the 88 nomination, they were planning on uh, putting Mario Cuomo at the convention into the nomination. So yeah. nothing changes. Oh. Nothing uh, changes. We'll, All right. We'll pay attention. We'll keep talking about it because it's fun to speculate. It's fun. We can't help it. More rising right after this.